Some films never date, and American Beauty is one of them. Rewatching this again after 20 years, I was even more impressed than I was the first time around. It's the debut film of director Sam Mendes, and also the first screenplay of Alan Ball to be filmed. It charts the final year in the life of Lester Burnham, played brilliantly by Kevin Spacey. Lester is undergoing a midlife crisis. His marriage to Caroline and it ending is sterile. Oh, what? Your mother of the year? You treat her like an employee. His 16-year-old daughter Jane, Thora Birch, regards him with contempt, especially when he develops a passion for her best friend Angela, Mena Suvari, who is a vapid, vain creature, certain that every man she comes across desires her. Well, I'll be seeing you around then. Could he be any more pathetic? I think it's sweet. And I think he and your mother have not had sex in a long time. She's certainly beautiful, and Lester fantasizes about having sex with her. Yes. Meanwhile, new people have moved next door. The Martinet homophobic Colonel Fitz, Chris Cooper, wife Alison Janney, and son Ricky, Wes Bentley. Ricky spies on Jane, filming her surreptitiously through windows. Angela thinks he's a creepy psychopath, and maybe we do too. Meanwhile, Caroline is besotted with the success of her real estate rival, Bud King, Peter Gallagher. So besotted that she becomes liberated through him. And this is actually a film about liberation, about adolescent insecurity, about homophobia, about something missing in the American dream. But it's also about finding beauty in that unsatisfactory dream. This is a film that stands up over time. It's been beautifully crafted by Sam Mendes, moving from his stage successes into cinema for the first time. And together with the great cinematographer Conrad Hall, they've created something that resonates, something ultimately satisfying. The screenplay by Alan Ball is not to be underestimated. It's brilliant. And it's anchored by the most fabulous performances. There's not a weak one in sight. Kevin Spacey is spectacularly good as Lester, but he's surrounded by top talent being really well directed. I'd forgotten how good this film is. It is so worth a revisit. No wonder it won key Academy Awards, Best Film, Best Actor for Spacey, Best Director for Mendes, Best Cinematography for Hall, Best Screenplay for Alan Ball, and Best Supporting Actress for Annette Benning. It deserved them all. What the hell do you think you're doing? Uh oh. Mom's mad. Bench presses. I'm going to wail on my pecs and then I'm going to do my back. I, I see you're smoking pot now. I I'm so glad. I think using illegal psychotropic substances is a very positive example to set for our daughter. You're one to talk, you bloodless, money-grubbing freak. 